reaching out to you. Um, just wanted to uh, let you know that I want to make a new jailbreaking video for you. Um, some people were trying to do the jailbreak on my last video and it helped hundreds of people. Um, but some people I wasn't working with. People that can't downgrade to 3.1.2, um, I have a jailbreak here for 3.1.3. Doesn't mean it's going to work for you. Please don't think it's going to work for you. Um, I'm sure it will work for several people, um, but it won't work for everyone. You must have had your, your phone jailbroken before in the past. If you didn't, this will not work. Um, anyways, <coughs> please leave um, comments and subscribe. Don't be nasty. It took time out of my own life to do this for you, just to help. And let's get started. Um, first off, let me show you my phone here. Um, if you watched my previous videos, you would know that I was on 3.1.3. And um, some people had questions about the band. I want to show you that um, I'm on the new band and I still jailbroke it. Um, first things first, I'm on 3.1.2. I was on 3.1.3. Um, and I downgraded. And my band is 512.01, and I just want to show you guys that, okay? And um, let's just uh, get to it now. Okay. First things you're going to need is you're going to need a download here. <coughs> and I'll put this in the description. Okay, the download you're going to need is um, for the 3.1.3 Snow Breeze um, 1.5. Okay, you download that onto your desktop. The other thing you're going to need is your firmware. So whatever the device is, I don't even know what devices this would work for. You click on it, make sure you download the firmware 3.1.3 and download it to your desktop. Once you do that, we're going to go in and we are going to uh, download, um, you're going to open up Snowbreeze. Okay? Once you open up Snowbreeze, you're going to get a um, little dialog box at the beginning here, just stating that if you uh, pay for it, you demand a refund because you can't charge. Accept it, you'll see that it says 3.1.3. Hit next. Go into expert mode. Always go into expert mode. Hit next. You're going to look for the firmware you downloaded, 3.1.3. Once you find it, you're going to open it up. Hit OK. It's going to process to make sure that it can be used. It says that it can be used. It also says um, that your device must have been jailbroken prior to this. Hit OK. Go Next. You're going to go and click on to General. Hit Next. Now, if you are an AT&T customer, make sure that Activate the Phone is not checked. Is not checked. If you um, are not an AT&T customer, then make sure that it is checked. I do recommend that add the Snow Breeze iPhone app onto your phone. I also recommend to put this at 1000 MB. Hit next. If you need to unlock, just read these here. It's for the 3GS and this is for the 2G. Don't check it if, you don't, if you're an AT&T user. Go next. Click to use Cydia and Rock, whichever you prefer. Um, and then you would hit next. Here you don't need to worry about, just go ahead and hit next. Here is a nice thing about this is you can actually change your boot logo and your recovery logo. If you already got pictures, browse for them, put them in, it'll create it in the firmware. If not, just leave them alone, hit next. Next thing you want to do is click on build, IPSW. Click next. This takes a while. This is going to extract. Hey YouTube, this is uh, my second video here for you. Um, it's part two. I want to show you that the ISPW was created. It will show you that it says done. Okay? Um, so right here it tells you that uh, connect your iPhone 3GS and enter recovery mode. After that, launch iTunes and hold down shift while clicking and restore buttons in iTunes. Hit OK. So now you're done with this. So you can exit completely out. Now on your desktop, you're going to see right here that this is the custom firmware that was created, okay? So now you want to open up iTunes, okay? When you open up iTunes, <coughs> um, as you can eh, get up here, you will see what we have to do here is hold down right here on Restore. You're going to hold the Shift, 
left click on restore, it'll open up a box. Now for Mac users, you're going to hold alt and left click. Then you're going to look for that snow breeze file. Once you find it, you're going to hit open. Once you do that, it's going to extract the file, so on and so forth. Um, <coughs> and then uh, I unplug my phone because I don't want to do it. <coughs> But what it's going to do is ask you to continue. It's going to downgrade. It's going to uh, upload the uh, software onto your iPhone. It's actually a very easy jailbreak. Um, it's going to download into it. Um, you might get an error. The error is okay. Um, don't worry about the error. And then after you do that, make sure you make sure you back up your phone as well, guys. But after you do that, um, you. Uh, are going to let it uh, finish its job. You're going to see the little custom pictures that they had for you at the beginning um, when you made the ISPW. Um, and then you will be jailbroken. Um, I know it seems a little too good to be true, but it is an easy process because um, you're not doing anything special except for making a custom firmware. Um, if it doesn't work for you guys, if my first video and the second video doesn't work for you, I extremely apologize. Um, I did try. Um, but I'm sure if it won't happen soon, the dev team will come up with something. Joe is working with them as well, so um, hopefully they can come up with a jailbreak for the people that have went up to the 3.1.3 firmware. Please subscribe. Um, I'll try my best to answer anything. Please comment. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.